What up, Salman here in another video about mistakes I commonly see uh, playing in games expert and below. Uh, so here we are on Shenzhen, and uh, I'm going to jump right over here into this channel uh, and advance and protect my guy to the left, and also protect center beacon. Okay. So, this griffin just kind of jumped out into nothing, into a one-on-three. So, I see stuff like that, just, you know, these, like, Rambo techniques. Also, here's also a huge mistake here on Shenzhen, is trying to take center beacon. You can alone just walk out there. Uh, it doesn't matter what bite you're in. It's just, it's, it's a move you go to, to die. All right, now I'm gonna move up another channel. All right, so going channel by channel, always trying to use cover. <clears throat> Almost got that bot down, but definitely laid into it. Yeah, you all need to stop trying to go take center beacon. And uh, I see that a lot too, people just hang out in that side over there and just try to take long range shots. I mean, it's annoying, but not really that effective. You're not really putting any, any pressure on the other team. All right, and uh, you see, I just keep using this wall in the corner of this building to, to block those shots. So, you know, I don't really need a shield or energy shield. You just need to know how to protect the, the health of your bots. All right, and I mean, I'm just waiting for someone to make a mistake. It's that, it's that simple. You don't need to, to be over aggressive. All right, uh, shot a Galahad that wasn't using a shield. I mean, if you're gonna run Galahads and Lances and Gareths, I mean, at least make sure you have your shield up or uh, you know, protecting you from wherever your, your bot is exposed. All right, that's just a little pro tip there if you have a Griffin, if you jump left, you can kind of get an angle that lets you shoot over that low corner. Moving up yet again, staying close to the walls. And there we go. Just, you know, you should never walk out into an open corridor uh, without knowing what you're facing first. Um, that person needlessly got their bot shredded. All right, walking out here into the open, I'll probably go down, but um, just laying into these bots. Okay, we have a three cap doing all right. Left side's been no problem. And again, we're just steadily shredding through bots here. Get some corner shooting in. This is how you play close to the fire and don't get uh, killed. Corner shooting. All right, cool. So they took the beacon. No big deal. We already have a huge beacon lead. And I think in a previous video, I talked about uh, extending games by letting the other team have beacons. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, look at the beacon bar. Uh, we've got a decent lead. Um... And we can stretch this game out, take more bots, get more damage, and ultimately get <laughs> more resources. I noticed there was a bot back there with like Zenits. I mean, you're going to want to, you know, brawl your way out of trouble. All of this long range fighting in this situation is not doing anything to help the team. You know, and I'm in here with like, I guess, level nine bots, level nine weapons. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm like uh, overpowered in my weapons uh, levels. It's just that I'm running weapons that, that that do damage. I mean, this is a bot that carries four weapons, and I know people sleep on the Griffin because it doesn't have shields and all that stuff, but it carries a lot of firepower. And if you're not careful around it, it can put down some damage. 
Um, I mean, if you think about that Plasma Griffin, uh, it's like one of the only bots in the game that can fire every second of the game. Those magnums shoot every second. Uh, and I think like two magnums together is like one Terran, something like that in damage. So do not sleep on the Plasma Griff. All right, here we are on the moon. And let's uh, critique some gameplay here. Okay, I see a golem. Cool, taking center, jumping over middle to avoid everyone shooting through there. Uh, support your players. Here I am supporting someone on my team. Uh, the three of us, there we go, cool. Helping to take down some bots. All right, there's four of us up here. This is a little, little much. Uh, we don't want to totally give up center. And uh, definitely move around when you are shooting at a bot. You know, move left and right. Move back if you're too close. Um, that will make you harder to hit. Uh, and if they have like a, a close range weapon as well, if you can figure that out, all you got to do is walk outside the range to, to get safe again. All right, they had a, too many bots hanging out underneath here, so I dropped in the, the death button to pretty much splash everyone out. Um, I see this a lot too. People don't really have uh, you know hangers for the you know the right situation. Um, you know, I'm I'm old school, and uh, I still find those old school tactics still work a ton. And along those lines. Uh, you have problems in this game that can be solved by Splash and problems in this game that can be solved by Plasma. And, I mean, I still, <laughs> to me, you only need uh, those weapons. Terrans, Magnums, Orcans, Pinatas. You don't really need anything else. Uh, especially for what this game is trying to charge people. Um, those four weapons I mentioned are pretty cost-effective. So here's another issue here too is you know players pushing too hard um, you know definitely hasn't noticed me up here yet um, and probably didn't need to come through the middle probably would have been better orchestrating attack over this uh, this ledge over here Now I happen to be waiting for this Leo. Oh, look at this great teamwork. Oh man, they just keep dropping bots. That's tough. I mean, had they planned that march to take this beacon, that would have worked out a lot better, especially with them having center. They could have just kept spawning and, and pressuring over here. But this is a better place to push because uh, we have to move uh, our team further over to the right, uh, whereas protecting center, um, well, our, our close home beacon is a lot easier for us to do. So I see this a lot too, is, is people pressing the wrong beacons. Um, pretty much the, the closer you, you press towards someone's home uh, beacon, the, the more bots you're going to lose trying. Alright, here's a rhino, and unfortunately these you know, they're just not worth it. Uh, it's a bot that 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 dies as soon as you you know bring it out. Um, it's it's pretty worthless. I want to get one if, if I were you guys. I mean, I'll try playing one later uh, to see what I can do with it, and maybe to give some tips for people that still want to run one. Um, all right, so we've got a four cap, and they're just trying to, to hang on here. Um, game's almost over. But as you get better at this game and more serious, um, knowing which beacons to press is crucial. 
uh, working as a team is really important, um, and picking the right uh, build for the situation is important. Um, starting in a range bot is almost never the, the right solution. Uh, that strategy changes, I don't know, when you start playing more with the team, um, and you can work out strategies. Uh, Alright, here we are. Team Deathmatch on Shenzhen. This will be the last one for this video. And walking up to try to find a wall. And that is important because if people are shooting aphids or vortexes or hydras, if I stand close to the wall, it's going to reduce the direct damage that those rockets can do. So uh, it's imperative that you do everything you can to protect the health of your bot. All right, I walked through that corridor without looking, and I got shot. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. But um, it only took a little bit of, of damage. Uh, not that big of a deal. Uh, because this team is not running brawling bots, they're completely giving up all this position. All right. Stay close to the wall, only have to walk a short distance to cut off that Zeus. Didn't take too much damage. Alright. Peek in to see what's there. Uh, I gotta help a teammate with these bots over here. Jump to safety. Alright. Got taken out. It's three to three. Uh, but notice how once they switched to some, like, you know, brawling bots, they were able to help take care of the situation. Alright, I'm over here in these buildings, bringing these rockets uh, to help splash out corners. Got some more teamwork happening over here. You know, anywhere you can partner up with another player, uh, definitely do that. So I'm going to take my time here, wondering if that shield can come down at all. Oh, I was going to try to jump inside that Lance's Ansel and caught my toe on the side of the building. Oh. Lost far more damage than I was planning. Alright, 7-4 is the score. All right, pressing forward with cover. All right, I see a butch and see another butch. So they, they can't hold this side. They don't have bots to brawl in and they can't fight close range, so they're running here. And I'm walking by their spawn, but they've got six people in the game. Um, so I don't have to worry about anyone spawning here. Now if this was me and I saw someone walking by that spawn point, I might suicide my bot to get in there and, and lay him out um, so you know this over reliance on long range bots is a huge huge problem at this level um, I mean you eventually have to learn how to brawl All right, went down over here, but got a great push, and you can see they're all they're all smashed back in that corner, and that's great because this lets our whole team advance, you know, to this one spot. It's gonna be like you know fishing in a barrel. All right, Hydra guys out there, coming back with rockets. You know, if they're all gonna be close clustered together like this. Splash is good because you get damage on multiple bots, and this that definitely helps uh, with your score at the end. All right, see a Leo working by himself over here. I'm just taking my time. I'm waiting to see if he will mess up first. All right, more walking through the open, which makes no sense at all. Um, definitely see this a lot with, with uh, Leo players 
they get that Leo with all that health, and then they just, you know, walk it through, <laughs> through the middle, right through the open. And if you run a, Le a Leo, please know that people love targeting Leos first because they give up so much damage. Um, so, you know, don't don't think that you're you're safe in your Leo. All right, look at all these people hanging out back there. Wait for these Orkins to to recharge. I'll probably die over here. All right, now everyone's up on this top corner, and I mean, it really just making this job really easy for us to get you know, simple damage. I mean, everyone's over there. It's really easy to just shoot down this corridor and smash people up. So it would be better if the other team. Uh, had spread out on the map and was able to find a way to to shoot us from you know multiple angles here so they're making a, a push uh, it's 18 to 11 various over there holding it down my roll dog all right, we got the hover bots coming in. Last bot. Wow, the hover bot has a lot of health. It's probably level two or MK two. Twenty one to fifteen. Got a minute and a half left. Yet another hover bot. And the, you know. There's a lot going on over here. We're kind of surrounded. It's just kind of me on the rest of these dudes. <clears throat> All right. Finally went down. Um, it was an overwhelming push. If there was more people on our team <laughs> over here and not these campers back there, we definitely would have been able to hold that spot. Um, but 22 to 16, I think we had one disconnect on our side. 30 seconds left. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have to focus on on killing bots. I think this person might have been in the same bot the entire game. It's not really helping out with those Tempests over there. Uh, but... You know, as time goes on, you learn how to play each map better um, and learn which bots and, and, and builds are the best to run and are the best for the certain situations. Uh, that's stuff you got to focus on. Um, it's really, this game is designed to get you to spend on stuff that you don't need and then you level it up to find out later that it's completely ineffective. Um, so, we'll leave it at that. I'll put out another video. Still got a couple more here on some mistakes. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. Stay awesome. Woo woo.